Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to go over my five top tips for revising GCSE Maths because it is about this time of year that we start to seriously think about GCSE Maths. Now, the excellent thing about GCSE Maths that makes it really, really easy for you to revise is that there is so much content out there. So tip number one, and this is my most important tip, is get as much practice as you can. Because the exam boards are really, really similar in that content and maths is math. I'd like science, which is a whole different issue. Math is math, so it doesn't really matter which exam board you're doing. All of this advice on all of these courses is still relevant. Now, what I really want you to beg you to do is if you're going to spend money on stuff for GCSE Maths, please make sure it's good stuff because there is so much free stuff out there that is better than the paid for stuff. It's such a shame to see you spending loads and loads of money on something because you fall for the advertising. So over on my website, there are loads and loads of practice questions for free and you can go and do those. So please don't go and spend money on practice questions unless you absolutely have to. So my number one tip is do as many practice questions as you can. My number two tip is do as many past papers Praxi papers or my predictive papers as you can because it is important that when you're doing your revision that you try things in a time situation so you get used to that in the exam and then you try switching from topic to topic to topic to topic. So question one might be on factorisation, question two might be on geometry, question three might be on statistics, very similar to what you would get in the real exam. Whereas if you're just going to do 20 questions on quadratics, you won't get that same situation. So tip number two is try practice papers. Again, because the exam boards are so similar, it doesn't really matter whether you do an AQA paper or an Excel paper because the content is the same. There's going to be slight differences in formatting, but maths is maths. Number three is write down as many worked examples as you can. And then when we get a bit closer to the examples, what I want you to do is go back to those worked examples, cover up the answer and try and do them again. But the act of finding the worked examples and copying them down, so copying down a set of perfect answers, and you can get all of these from my videos. You can just go and hand write out, copy out all of my videos. It's a really useful and practical way to prepare stuff for when you're going to need it a little bit closer to the exams. But actually, it's a really low-key, low-stress way for you to do some revision. Number four is make sure you know how to use a calculator. Now, this may seem like an obvious one. But different calculators work in ever so slightly different ways. So make sure you know how to use your calculator. Make sure it's in degrees, not radians, which would definitely mess you up in the exam. And make sure you know exactly where to put the brackets around things so that it will actually do what you want it to do. So when you're doing something like iteration, you only have to change the numbers that you're iterating and you don't have to type the whole thing out again. And number five is believe that you are a maths person. I hear this so frequently that I'm not a maths person, I can't do it. You can do it, you are a maths person. Just because you don't want to go and do maths A level, or maybe you do, but believe that you can do it. Confidence, belief is one of the most important things in how to revise GCSE maths. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.